What's up guys? Italian film star Claudia Cardinali quickly became famous in Europe and soon the United States and the rest of the world. She appeared in some of the most renowned European films in the 1960s and 70s. The Italian actress and sex symbol is not only breathtakingly beautiful, she is very talented. We look at the top 5 movies she played in. We start this list with Once Upon a Time in the West from 1968. This epic spaghetti western is a masterpiece of Sergio Leone, with the music written by composer Ennio Morricone, Leone's regular collaborator. The film features long slow scenes with very little dialogue and little happening, broken by brief and sudden violence. Like that. Claudia Cardinali stars with other big names. Henry Fonda is the villain, Charles Bronson is his nemesis, Jason Roberts as a bandit and Claudia Cardinali as a newly widowed homesteader. Directors such as Martin Scorsese, George Lucas, Quentin Tarantino and Vince Gilligan have cited the film as an influence on their work. The Pink Panther from 1963 is an American comedy film directed by Blake Edwards. It is the first installment in the Pink Panther franchise. Claudia plays the role of Princess Dalla. As a child, she receives a gift from her father, the Maharaja, the Pink Panther, the largest diamond in the world. Dalla goes on holiday at an exclusive ski resort in Cortina d'Ampezzo, Italy. Also staying there is English playboy Sir Charles Lytton, played by David Niven, who leads a secret life as a gentleman jewel thief called the Phantom, and has his eyes on the Pink Panther. On the Phantom's trail is French police detective Inspector Jacques Clouseau. The movie has a series of hilarious moments with Peter Sellers as Inspector Clouseau. Cartouche is a 1962 French adventurer film directed by Philippe de Broca and starring Jean-Paul Belmondo and Claudia Cardinale. Belmondo plays Bourguignon, a bandit who rescues Venus, a beautiful gypsy played by Claudia. Bourguignon creates his own gang, acting under the name of Cartouche. They make audacious robberies of the rich and distribute the loot to the poor. Thus, Cartouche attracts the people's sympathies. The police sets multiple traps to catch Cartouche. Venus will sacrifice her life to save him from harm. Merci, The Leopard in Italian language, Il Gattopardo, is a 1963 epic historical drama film directed by Lucino Visconti. Bert Lancaster stars as Don Fabrizio Corbera, an aging Sicilian nobleman caught up in the socio-political turmoil of the Risorgimento, the Italian unification, during the mid-19th century. With Alain Delon as his opportunistic nephew Tancredi and Claudia Cardinali as his goddaughter. Terence Hill plays a supporting role. The film was an international co production between Italian studio Titanus and French studio Pathé. The Leopard won the Palme d'Or at the 1963 Cannes Film Festival. The film is now widely regarded as a classic and one of the greatest movies ever made. Mm -hmm. 
In The Professionals, an American western film from 1966, four specialized men have to rescue the wife of an American rancher. His wife, Maria, played by Claudia Cardinali, is kidnapped by the Mexican bandit Raza, who hides with his gang between the mountains just over the border in Mexico. Lee Marvin plays the weapons specialist, Burt Lancaster is the explosives expert, Robert Ryan is the horse wrangler and Woody Strode is a traditional Apache scout skillet with bow and arrow. It is waiting till the second part of the movie to see Cardinali. Her performance is outstanding and she reveals they haven't rescued Grant's kidnapped wife but Raza's lover. The movie was filmed in Dead Valley and the Coachella Valley in California as well as Valley of Fire State Park in Nevada. If you found this video somehow interesting, subscribe to the channel. More videos about famous actors are on this channel. Check out the video of Gina Lollobrigida's top 5 movies and Gina Lollobrigida's top 5 Italian movies. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.